Hi everyone, we just wanted to give you some information uh, before we all go back in September or the start of September about what's going to be happening as regards PE at school um, in the short term, hopefully before, hopefully we can get back to normal um, whenever we're allowed to. As regards kit, it's going to be a little bit different. We're not going to be using the changing rooms, they're going to be um, completely out in the short term. So on the days that you have got PE, you're going to be allowed to come to school in your PE kit. Um, so year 7, 8, that will be two days a week, you have two lessons, two PE lessons a week. Year 9, 10, 11, you've got PE once a week unless you're doing exam level sports. And then you probably need to check with your teacher which day you're doing your practical lesson on as well. So that would be two lessons a week, uh, two days a week for you as well. It could be that it falls on the same day, your core PE lesson and your GCSE or your Cambridge National lesson, so it'll only be once. We're we'll also be running clubs at lunchtime. Um, clubs are not going to be in kit unless you have got PE that day. So you happen to be in kit anyway. So if it's a day that you've got PE, and by the way, all form tutors will have a list of when PE is going to be happening, so they'll know what days you've got you've got PE. Um, so they'll be checking in the morning. On the day you've got PE, you can come into school in your PE kit. Now, within that, there'll be a couple of different things. Um, obviously, we we understand that you're not going to come to school. Uh, in just your kit you're going to be coming in in a coat as well that's absolutely fine you are going to need your blazer which we'll explain a little bit about in a minute you can come in tracksuit bottoms over the top as long as they are dark black or blue um, and i think this will talk about leggings a little bit later on so you can do that but you do come to school in your full PE kit because we won't be using the changing rooms um, if for any reason you are injured or you can't take part in PE on, on your PE day, you will still come in your kit and we might get you involved in coaching or refereeing or something like that, whatever it may be, but we still come to school in your PE kit. Obviously, if it's on a day that you do not have PE, please do not come into school in your kit. Completely, obviously, we're against the rules to come in on a day where you do not have PE. You only come into school in your PE kit on the days that you have got practical sport. As said, if you've got a club at lunchtime, but it's not on a PE day where you'd normally have your kit, you do not come in your kit for that club. You just bring your trainers in your bag and you can take your tie off if you're allowed, uh, or take your blazer off, tie off, put your trainers on and you can play at lunchtime. So there are basic rules. So you come in on kit in your on your PE days. If it's a club, you don't have to wear kit. You can just put trainers on, take your tie and your blazer off and you can play that particular sport at lunchtime without your kit on. We will not be using the changing rooms. What it was I saw the pills on the table for your arm. Okay, so just to talk you through then next the girls' kit and what we'll be expecting girls to be wearing in PE lessons. Nothing really has changed, but just to be sure everybody's crystal clear on what, what, what it is that you need to be wearing. So um, when you are around school in normal lessons, you will be expected to have your blazer on over the top of your hoodie or over your PE top. So that's standard for everybody. But obviously when you come to the PE lesson, you won't be wearing your blazer, okay? Everything else is still the same. So if you've got one, bring your hoodie, especially this first term as well, leading into the winter months, the weather's gonna get colder. So make sure you've got a hoodie and we will be outside, okay? Second thing as well is your polo shirts, so make sure you've got your polo shirts with you and also your skorts as well. Socks, you can see modelled by our lovely Sammy the Skeleton, we've got the uh, um, football socks that you can wear, that's absolutely fine, the maroon socks, or you can wear white socks. But as you will know, black socks are not allowed in PE lessons, so it's got to be either the football socks or white socks, please. Trainers. Um, obviously, we don't, you know, don't be coming in mad expensive pairs of trainers, just sensible trainers to wear in your PE lessons. Ideally, lace-ups, not Velcro, because Velcro wears over time as well, okay? Um, alternative to your skirt is leggings. Girls, you're more than welcome to wear leggings. I know many of you feel more comfortable performing in leggings, that's fine. But please make sure that your leggings are as plain as possible. They need to be black or dark navy blue preferably with no big logos and patterns all over them. I've got plain black leggings on there, fine. You can wear anything like this. We don't mind if you've got stripes down the side or Adidas or something like that on it or a Nike tick, that's fine. If you're not sure, bring them to us and, uh, and we can always check that for you for future lessons. But other than that, that's the girls kit, as you all know, but a reminder for everybody so that we all know where we stand when we come back. Cry to love. Oh, 
I would be nothing. Okay, as regards the lads kit, again, it's just a reminder really to go over the rules. Again, all lads, just like with the girls kit, you will be wearing a blazer in lessons. Your teachers will be told to make sure you've got a blazer on in lessons over the top of your B kit. Not a tracksuit top from home, not anything else, you'll be wearing the school blazer over the top of your kit. If in a lesson you ask the teacher if you could take it off, that's absolutely fine, that will be up to the individual member of staff, but in general you will come with your kit and you'll have your blazer over the top. Obviously you might have a coat as well if you've come to school in. Again, for the lads, if you've got a hoodie, you're welcome to wear it. We've also got long sleeve tops, rugby and football, outside stuff, and we've got short sleeve tops um, for indoor sports. We don't actually mind which one you wear. And in the first term, it's not gonna be contact sports because of the situation we're in. So I can wear your short sleeve top or your long sleeve top. Shorts, you're absolutely gonna need. You can also wear tracksuit bottoms, dark blue or black only. So again, we don't mind a night tick or Adidas stripes down the side, or but what we don't want is any patches of other colours, big white bits or anything else. They, they could be plain, dark blue or black tracksuit bottoms. Again, for the lads, the football socks is for every sport. We don't have the white ones, we just wear the football socks and it's going to be trainers. And again, make sure you've got a pair of trainers that are probably multi, multi purpose. We might be outside days, it could get dirty the odd day, so make sure you wear something appropriate. Again, you can come to school in the black tracksuit bottoms or the blue tracksuit bottoms if you want. Um, keep you warm and obviously you might have your coat over the top with your school bag but the key thing is you will wear your blazer around school and when you go to lessons unless your class teacher has given you permission not to um, if for any reason this is girls or boys you are injured and we've said already said on this video you come to school in your kit because you can help out in P lessons you will also need a parental note for that as you always would do we have to account for anyone that's not doing it so if you're injured you come in your kit and your trainers as well um, and you have a note from your parents just telling you why you'd be excused on that particular day. But then we can still get you involved in lessons around school and things like that. The only other thing we haven't got here with us today on Sammy the Skeleton would be dancers. Obviously dancers have a slightly different kit. Um, if you're doing GCSE dance and you're doing a dance practical on that day, Mrs Johnson obviously knows all the dancers. You can come in, to, in on that day in your dance kit. On the other days you cannot come in in your kit. I think we just want to get that across. Obviously it's a different situation, hopefully this will change and we're back to normal where you'll come in your uniform and bring your kit with you when we can op open the changing rooms again in the future when we have the guidelines to do that. But it's really important that you know the rules, you know the kit you're ex going to be expected to wear around school and I hope we've clarified that for you today. See you later. Aren't you holding me up? Now I'm strong enough for both of us. Tell me what you see